so hey youtube that brady chick here i know i said i wasn't gonna do protective styles anymore i.e single braids but listen my hair just got a little bit too hard to manage so i had to kind of pop these in really quick and allow for the growth to develop i feel like i kind of just got a little bit impatient with my twisting growth journey as some of you guys know i was trying to see if i could grow my hair strictly through twists for a year redoing the twist every two weeks and such throughout that year but it's like it just got a little bit too tedious because those twists took five ever like five ever to create I just needed a better method of growing my hair that wasn't going to take so long, wasn't going to be too taxing on me, and would provide me with more growth and with quicker growth than twisting my hair. I don't doubt that twisting your hair could definitely grow it, but in my own experience, I've been twisting my hair back and forth from September 2020 all the way till last month, May 2021. That's eight months of twisting, and I literally saw no growth. That's almost a full year and I saw zero growth. Versus if I were to do eight months of single braids, which I have done before, I literally saw substantial growth every single time. This is a bit more promising and it's a lot less of a hassle for me personally. So I think I'm gonna just stick to this until I get to my goal. It's looking like braids are the quicker picker upper, if you will. <laughs> Honestly, my growth has been stagnant for the last two years. If I'm counting from June 2019 to like May 2021, I haven't seen much growth at all. Like my hair has just stayed at the two year length and that just can't work for me. So right now my goal is to get to my three year length via single braids and just continue braiding throughout the year. And just continue from there until I reach my ultimate hair goal. We'll get there. I just feel like those roughly past two years have been a bit of a setback so I just want to make a comeback with these braids and get my hair going. But anyway, I'll insert the clips of September 2020 to May 2021 when I was doing my twisting growth journey in order to grow my hair out or in attempt to grow my hair out. Um, and as you can see, it did not really work. I also have a frogress, like frogress, my progress of my afro length. I have a progress highlight as well where I kind of tracked how long my hair got in terms of its afro shrunken state and this is how it looks. And as you can see there's not much growth there so yeah that is why I had to resort to my braids again. Don't hate me or don't say that I'm a hypocrite or whatever because of my last video saying goodbye to single braid. Honestly single braids have done wonders for my hair in the past so in reality i really should have stuck to it but i'm kind of glad i didn't at the same time because during the year that i didn't wear the single braids which was the same year that i released that video i was able to experiment with my hair a little bit with like different colors not permanent obviously and not real dyes but it was like the temporary natural dyes which were the mofajang and the hair paint wax so yeah we got to experiment with different colors in a safe way because they did not damage my hair of course because it's just a wax it's not going to damage your hair and it's easy to wash off so it's like water soluble so no damage there which is great and i was able to experiment with those colors as you can see so that was during 2020 and during the pandemic, which was the latter half of 2020, I was able to experiment with like little hair growth recipes, which I could not maintain. I'll be honest, I couldn't maintain those because again, it was tedious and it really smelled bad because I used onion mixed recipe for hair growth. Like it had onion and a bunch of other things in it. Like it's great for your hair in terms of like the sulfate. It's really just sulfate that's good for your hair, which is why people have recommended that onion recipe. But honestly, Mm, it stinks. I mean the smell doesn't linger in your hair but like when you first apply it obviously you're gonna smell it right? Not the most pleasant and it took kind of long to prepare so we're just gonna circle back to this okay? But yeah the point of this video is that I have returned to my braids. Look how long they are. Don't tell nobody. I will post an update video in a couple of months to show you guys my hair progress underneath these braids. How much it has grown every time I take it out. Hold me accountable to that. I know I did not post an update to that Sulfur 8 Do Grow video and I apologize for that but in all honesty my hair did not really grow past that last time because first of all I kept trimming it not drastically but like there was a lot of split ends that needed to go and I never really noticed any further growth from what I pulled during that video so 
I'm sorry, but there will not be an update to that video. I'm so sorry, but that is the end of that update. Sorry. <laughs> As for this video, 110% I will post update video about how much my hair has grown from these braids and prove to you guys that protective styles 100% can grow natural hair. So get ready for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and always remember, natural hair grows under protective styles too. Don't you forget it. Bye. Uh -oh.